you know, I, I've thought about this. I, I've, I've rewatched the last episode to get up to speed again as to what to do. And every time I did something, like every time I did one of these quests, it was at night, right? So it's currently daytime, which means that I need to advance the game to nighttime. And it could be two things. Either there's like a way to do that and I have found out how, or I'm missing something that I'm supposed to pick up at daytime. And looking at this thing, I, I think it's the latter because a fancy barber's pole secured to the wall with straight slot screws. I don't know why the game needs to make the distinction between different kinds of screws. Why would the game want you to have two screwdrivers? Gee, Willie, how come Harvester lets you have two screwdrivers? One Phillips head, wait, that, this one, and one regular. Especially considering that you could most likely loosen it with something like a key, an axe, a wrench, fuck, a shovel, the pitchfork, <laughs> anything with somewhat of a straight edge surface could loosen a straight um, screw, depending on how, how it's made, obviously, but I'm, I'm fairly sure that we could get in there with a key and turn it if Steve's not a wimp. But, but the question is, where the fuck do I get it from? You would really think that I haven't missed anything, but it looks like this is gonna be another wild goose chase where I'm gonna cut out um, the search and hopefully it won't take too long because I have limited recording time and well yeah I'll just cut to when I did it and it will be in about three hours time for me two seconds for you Jesus Christ all right fuck that noise I gotta admit I took a very long time and I still couldn't find it so I did actually Google harvest harvest a screwdriver and it is in this location I've been in here like three times today alone. All right, don't count the other 20 times that I've been in here to advance the game before that. And there's a fucking drawer in the back here. An unlocked drawer, which we can operate. And there's shit in here. One of these little shits, a straight slot screwdriver. This town is a bit screwy. I pick it up and I sure hope that it's gonna advance the game. As soon as I lift the diner, maybe? No. Nope. Wait, do I need to do it? Oh, here we go. Alright, so I did guess right. I was just missing an item for night to send once more upon harvest. That's kind of curious. I wonder if... I, is the order of items I picked up predetermined in a weird way? Like, could I have done some of these quests before? I could have done all of them in the first night. I'm, I'm sure this, this drawer must have been here before. Maybe it was locked. Um, I could... <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to, to the barber shop and we'll see because... I don't know, do I have to pick the lock or... We'll take a look. Uh, I have to start with the first safe slot again. What do we call that one now? Um, screw this. Right. The barber shop is closed. Oh, don't want to do that. Um, that's a broom closet. I don't have any other keys, do I? A manhole key. Can I pick the lock with the screw? Okay. Well, that didn't work. Can I pick the lock with the other screwdriver? Oh man. Can I pick the lock with the wrench? Okay. Oh, it did say something just now. Wait, 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 wait. That's not how exactly a professional would break in. How would a professional break in? It's that Damn time it. again. Camera doesn't work. Well, man that key doesn't work. Oh, well, a manhole work. key is not how a professional would break in. Maybe a burnt well, flyer. Didn't work. Hey. The shovel? That's not exactly how a professional. 
Do I look like a professional thief? Well, God damn it. A pitchfork? I mean, it is a hint. It wants me to well, break in like work. a professional. Well, well, not, not the dolly, apparently. A mortuary damn ledger. It. I assume this ledger won't work either. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> the wrench we tried, but just for good measure. Duct tape just... Oh! <laughs> I get it now! <clears throat> it's a taped window. The door window is well secured with strong tape. Yes, yes, I've seen movies as well. How do we break it? Can we break it now? Okay, we can break it with whatever. I guess whatever items said before, that's not how a professional would break it would have worked for this one. <clears throat> Wait, how the fuck is, like... The shots were outside. How the fuck did that work? Was that because... That wasn't because of the tape. That makes no sense. They're gonna think that someone broke in from the inside. I've seen my detective stories. Except for its occasional hair well cuff, it's hard to tell if the sheep is alive or not. But at least the game is not lagging anymore in this location, which is, it was before. It was really hard to click on anything. It takes a true sportsman to hunt down these dangerous cows. Okay, we, we have the barber's pole here. A fancy barber pole secured to the wall with straight slot screws. Jim Bob, who was a high school star pitcher of 20 years ago, hangs his aging leather jacket here when he comes in for it. Um, light switch. Oh! Oh, let me guess. I'm gonna fucking kill myself if it's on while I screw it. The only thing you want to turn on when you screw it is women. <laughs> Take that advice from this lecherous old man. What does it tell us if I use the wrong screwdriver? That didn't work. Damn it. It would be kind of funny to see what happens when he kills himself, right? Boop. <laughs> Goodbye, Steve. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's like rigged up to the thingy majiggy. Oh. Ah. The, the guy told us about it, even, I think. The other guy. Oh, I thought, I thought like, Steve would kill himself by, like, e electrocuting himself. Screw this. When did we save? In front of the shop? Must have been. But I feel, this game is, like, six hours long, and I've been spending ten hours in it already, and it I feel really bad about it, to be honest. Here we go. I can't tell if it's like too hard for me or like too obscure at times. Oop. Why are there two light switches for the same thing? That's kind of curious. Um, this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Steve really liked that. Wonder what the what the lodge master will do with the pole if if he's gonna like shove it up his ass. Is that all we do in here? Is there like something to pick up before I, before I fuck off? Can I take anything with me? Oh, oh, really? Turning it on immediately makes it notice that something is missing? Okay, we're gonna do this again. Third time's the charm, baby. Go ahead. Okay. Tape. I'm not gonna cut this out. <laughs> this episode is like... Does this work? It does. Like, cut apart enough as it is. I'm not gonna make this any harder on me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, again, I'm gonna check these things to see if there's anything I can pick up after investigating it. Surely there must be... Oh, okay, he wanted to leave. There must be some tools that would be somewhat beneficial. Steve, but um, I also assume the game would let me leave. Like, would, would the game let me hardlock myself? Having acquired a barber pole, you make your way back to the house. Looks like I'm not gonna deliver it immediately. I mean, the lodge master is watching me at all times, <clears throat> as we can see here. What's next? That, that wasn't really too bad. I mean, Mr. Pastorelli really loved that thing, apparently. Maybe he can't practice anymore? Like, maybe the Lodge Master just wants everyone to have really long hair? Is it a prerequisite to have one of these poles if you want to be an actual barber? K, 
can't remember if I've ever seen them in Germany, to be honest. But I do know about them. Whatever, like Stephanie says. I want you, that's what she said. And some of these, I do have to wonder. We will see them. It, it can't be that much longer. I assume it ends as soon as we like join the lodge, we just wake up. And it's like, oh, Super Mario 2, it was all a dream. Because this must be... I, I still think that this is some weird-ass fever dream and, like, Steve has eaten too much cheese before going to bed. Oh. What? what? Press Control plus F4 and click left mouse button. Hmm. Um... Okay. The game did not restart, right? No, we still have our items. That was weird. But how did they not patch this out? I mean, this was like, oh, change the CD now. Wait, this, does this mean that we're the halfway point of the game? That can't be. Uh, I sure hope, I'm sure we're like further ahead. I want to finish this game this year. Well, there's not that many set, uh, Sundays left in in December. Mm -hmm. Might not, actually. Let's report to the Lodge Mass. I'm not in the mood of, like, talking to my mom. Ah, fuck, I'm gonna grab your paper. What, what, what does change if I give him the paper or not? I, I don't understand. There now, see how we Shut up, Jimmy James. Damn it. I gave you the paper already! Gonna kill him one of these days, I swear to god. Jimmy James is not gonna survive this game. And here it is. The object doll. Imported Venetian glass and Italian dreams. You have done well. An unfortunate side effect that Pastorelli was electrocuted. What? Because you left live wires in a puddle on the floor. But as those with affectations of worldliness say, say la vie. That's French. I also, I didn't do that deliberately. Should I, shouldn't I have electrocuted myself then? Is that all you can say? Man was electrocuted. Pastor Reddy took a big spill, a permanent one. What the fuck, Steve? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Accident. What does it matter that you left live electrical wires hanging in the water on the floor? If he hadn't cross-wired the alarm system to the sprinklers, he'd be alive. If I hadn't stolen it, he Poles. would be too. You only wanted the pole. But that hardly matters now. Your final assignment is to set a fire. Uh, DNA what? Diner and let the French fry where they may. That is a little bit too escalating. I mean, it went from like vandalism with the Tucker to just stealing some cloth from some gay fireman, which I I don't really think that's like too bad. Has this built up to this? Like setting a fire? Like first getting the firemen up in arms and like fighting each other? And then I saw like this pole which came out of nowhere and again it's just like petty stealing really. But there was a murder attached to it somehow. <laughs> now I want to burn down a building? That's no minor prank, that's awesome! Alright, any suggestion? Because if I put this I'm gonna have to, like if I take this I'm gonna, just gonna have to talk to him again, right? This is default to, I'm not gonna do it, but I will have to in order to advance the game. Otherwise, I will never finish this. All right, how, how do I do that? Yes, I suggest you succeed. That's a very good Beyond suggestion. That, you must find your own answers. Members of the Order must be resourceful and cunning. So must you be to become one with them. Tonight, the bake sale commences. Soon, the annual harvest blood drive will be at hand. When sacrifice will be the order of the day, your time in harvest grows. 
where will I go? Is he gonna kill me or what does this mean my time in harvest grows short? We talk again? Oh shit, it's exactly the same thing. It's curious how like they thought of a lot of things, but not this apparently. That, that multiple times talking to the same person just leads to the same thing. So let's take a look at Edna's diner. I, again, I, I assume I have to do this at night, which means there's an item somewhere that I need to pick up or someone I need to talk to in order to advance, which I'm not a fan of that, really. Yeah, that makes it... There's a smoke alarm here. And there's, there was a grease fry here we can operate. Edna does not let her customers behind the counter, which means we need to wait until nightfall again, surely. We need to steal, like, the fire extinguisher so no one no one can extinguish it we talk to it no. i can't talk now the dish i've whipped up a huge batch of brownies for the pta bake sale tonight i just wish i could do more to help out those poor bums not sure they like being called that uh how will the sale help bums what time is the bake sale i think it starts at six and runs until 10 o'clock i hope to see you there that Mr. Light. Pastorelli was electrocuted. Oh yeah, I heard He's that too. He's dead. Mm. It looks like some thief wanted his barber's pole, but didn't think of the consequences. Well, maybe it's what the guy had to do. Maybe whoever it was really needed that barber's pole bad. And <laughs> Steve is critical. That's to no excuse for hurting someone else. Even if Pastorelli were alive now, his heart would be broken. And what's a little profit compared to that? Yeah, she looks really angry about that. I'm sorry, I like. You brought this topic up. Can we talk about the bake sale again? Bake sale? I, I want to ask you the first question that was available. Sorry, I missed that. Oh, God Too damn noisy. it. Shut up, then. What about you? Bye, You're still out of it, I guess. Thank God I found you. Did I need to? Or was that like some weird ass side quest? Who do we talk to? The fire station. I wanted to check this out, actually. Like fighting each other. I can't even enter. Oh shit. Did I miss my chance? That's interesting. Are they just out of commission completely? Can they just do whatever now? Can we do the same with the policeman? Oh no. I, I was thinking about talking to Stephanie, but she's just gonna ask me, oh no, poor old Pastor Riley, do you know who did that? And Steve's gonna go. I accidentally did somehow. Sorry, Steve. Too tired to talk right now. I just gave the Tucker a tune-up. I'll talk to you later. Good work rescuing Karen. Thank you. Of course, you queered my play with Edna. But I suppose a little girl's life is more important than my sex life, right? So Maybe. Pastor Relly's barber pole got stolen. Big deal. Now me, I know tragedy. Of course, Pastorelli got electrocuted. He got away easy. At least his pain yeah. is over. That's what I, what I was trying to say. He, he got away easy because he's not here anymore to suffer. You are. Your Tucker is still scratched up. Bye now. Bye. Bye, Mr. Johnson. I love you. Um, what, what do we... Who else do we want to talk about this, actually? I, I don't know if I care about anyone's opinion. But the the resident is always a good um, stop to get our local news and sex. Did you say hello to your father for me? Uh, no, no, I haven't seen him. It's very important. Tell him. I know. You know, with a slaughterhouse full of meat in town, what kind of nutcase would steal a barber's pole? Oh, well. Pastorelli won't need it where he is. God rest his soul. You know, with a girl as hot as Stephanie in town... Who the fuck would kidnap a little girl, molest her, and bury her alive? Bye. Stephanie, I don't want to talk to your mom, but can we can we talk? How do you feel? Still like a bird? Still like a bird? Like, are you are you gonna break into like an Ali Fatada song? I'm glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. I understand that bake sale is today. Yes, yes, apparently. Yeah. You'd think it was the second coming, the way everyone is acting around here. It's Maybe I need to talk to my mom again. The maniacal attention paid to this bake sale. Like all the women in Harvest came from the same cookie cutter. Literally. 
It's unnatural, unhealthy, almost a parody of how things should be. Mm. And through my window at night, I see my mother throwing out whole batches of cookies, like an automaton getting rid of its surplus product. <laughs> That's really weird, right? The so-called mother has been baking cookies yeah. all week, and then throwing them out. Now what the fuck was that, that about? That, then getting rid of us. Wait around long enough. I have a feeling they'll get to it. I don't know if you heard or not, but Mr. Pastorelli, the barber... Uh, I'm sorry. He's dead. Looks like somebody stole a barber's pole from him, then left the exposed electrical wires and some water on the floor. Pastorelli walked in, flipped on the lights, and... Know anything about that? You know, it sounds like an accident. It do it does sound li like like an accident. Um, it, uh, no one would leave the stair deliberately to just kill a random person. But, but that's just my opinion. I don't think I know anything really. Oh my... I mean... We've been honest to her so far. If this determines the, the ending, whether you were honest to her or not... I, I would... I would eat my balls if I fuck it up now, so Steve is gonna come clean. We did... We did get the sex already, right? So... I mean... Let's... Let's weigh our options. Lie to her? More sex in the future. Be honest to her? Possibly a good ending. I don't know, the sex seems really... That one is kind of heavy on the scale. Let's be honest. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to pull for the initiation. Come on, click it. Oh my god. Steve, that was no little prank. A man died. I know. It was an accident. Forgot about the No, I, I didn't even water. know. That doesn't change the fact that you killed him. This initiation killed him. I need to see this through now. It was just an accident. An accident which wouldn't have happened if not for the Lodge. Don't you see? I'm beginning to think that the Lodge poisons everything it touches. Harvest. Even Can I strongarm strong her again? Situation. I'm the only sure? one doing something. No. But yes. however it started, I'm going to yes. see it through to the yes. end. Yes, cause some fallacy. Vandalism, theft, manslaughter. What's next, Steve? Murder? No, actually arson. <laughs> I know in the beginning I suggested you might check out the lodge. I was more worried about getting out of here than anything else. But now that I know you, I'm worried about you too. Thank you, but can I'm we fine. like... A man is dead because kiss? of you. How can you be fine? You've got to stop this. Tell me, is anything positive going to come out of this lodge initiation crap? A wedding. Yeah, or escape, hopefully. It just seems to me that this order of yours is getting you in deeper and deeper trouble. They can't make me do anything I don't want to do. You want to no. kill him? <laughs> but maybe when it's all said and done, you'll want to do anything. You've got to trust me. I don't know. We're not making a really strong case here, so... Bye-bye. Come back and visit me soon. Yes! Okay? We still got a boys and girls. Like, not the girls. The girls most likely are disgusted by our behavior, boys. But yes, boys, we still, still got it. Still wants it. Oh yeah, no matter how depraved we are and how many people we hurt, we just lost the Stevie Dick. Or Dicky Steve, I don't know, like one or the other. Uh, let's talk to her mom because she's also baking cookies. Looks like the whole cookie thing will be next. Hello, dear. Come to see Stephanie. Yes, have put you. the cookie down. Yeah, yeah, yes, please. She's upstairs. Go right on up. Just remember, she's grounded until the wedding. Yeah, we've had sex already. Tonight. Seven o'clock at the school. Lots of cookies and yards of floss. Hope to see you there. It's actually kind of nice compared to my Give mom. Give my regards to your parents. Why is she so much nicer than my mom? I don't understand. But I'm talking about my real life mom. <laughs> kind of sad. Alright, let's visit my mother. And then the wasp, wasp lady, she hasn't done anything in a while. Is she dead already? Like, I, I fully assume that she's just gonna be turned out dead at some point. <laughs> the wasps. Mom, what about the fucking cookies? Hello, dear. How are you today? Murderous. Did you hear what happened at the barbershop? Mm -hmm. Someone broke into Pastorelli's salon and took his antique barber's pole. And he's dead. The next morning, Pastorelli touched some live wires that the thief left lying around and was electrocuted. 
Well, that darn foreigner got what he deserved, if you ask me. <laughs> Coming into a nice little town like Harvest and stealing business. Is that not a bomb in this town? If a bowl and scissors were good enough for your father, I don't see why decent working folk need a fancy wop styling their hair. That's how it goes. First you get a sissy trim, then bang, you're a communist. Oh shit, yeah, Isn't kill communists, exciting, please. Steve? Five days and twelve hundred cookies later, the bake sale is already here. Where does the time fly? Wait, how many cookies did she Those bake then? A day. One thousand two hundred cookies. How many are you taking to the sale? Oh, about twenty. What? The rest were stale. But the effort wasn't wasted. It's for a good cause. Will you be at the school tonight? D did she just like practice, or <laughs> what was the point of that? Uh, I wouldn't miss it, obviously. That's nice, dear. It's good to be open to new experiences. Like anal. Good cause. Don't you think it's odd? Having a bake sale to pay for burying out-of-towners? Gosh, hooties, what should we do? Leave them in the streets? Gosh, of course we should bury them. But why do so many out-of-towners drop dead in harvest? Like a honey I trap. I have wondered about that. And I think it has something to do with the air. But there's nothing wrong with the air, it's perfectly clean. That's what I mean. Big city folk, they get so used to smog that clean air is a shock to their systems. Gets them every time. <laughs> I wish it was like that. <laughs> that would be fucking funny. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Yeah, I do. I already did. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, let's talk. Uh, let's actually see if we can investigate. We take another newspaper. What the fuck? Did you pick it up or not? Indeed. What do we do with the additional newspaper? Oh god. I, I'm not sure Jimmy will take two. Next time. Yeah, I wonder if there's even a next morning or not. Uh, let's investigate the barbershop to see if anything is going... Can I just enter? Well, I guess the culprit always... Re oh my good lord. Returns to the scene of his crime. You're just playing! Except for its occasional hairball cuff, it's hard to tell if the sheep is alive or not. I would say it's not alive anymore. If it was before. It doesn't even, like, mention what's going on here. He walked right up to it, apparently. Well, I guess he was checking why it was gone or something, like, at the disbelief. Hey, Mrs. Well. Think about taking some of that siding off my hands, son. What about Pastorelli? I'll you a nice price on it. Yeah, what about Pastorelli? I was the one what found Pastorelli this morning. After he stepped in the water with the live wires hanging out, his body was so burnt, his arms and legs was blackened, fused together, and the sheep was well done, too. Daisy. Problem is, both was burnt so bad. And the flesh all crisp and distorted, limbs melded. You couldn't tell them apart. And well, I didn't want to take a chance on eating Italian. No, sir. Understandable. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Does Mr. Swell serve any, pur any purpose, actually? <laughs> that being some weird ass wacky comic relief. Nice to see you again, Steve. Thank you. Mr. Parsons? I wonder if they're I like a reference. Now, son. I'm busy with this what game. about Pastorelli? I guess you heard that dang idiot Pastorelli went out and got himself electrocuted. Somebody stole a barber's pole. The alarm system triggered the sprinkler. There was water on the floor this morning and the darn crook left exposed wires out. The Pastorelli came in, flipped the switch, and then zap! Yeah, maybe them aliens is hot for colored glass after all. Maybe, yeah, it was the oh, yeah, it was the aliens. Anytime, Steve. Bye, Mr. Parsons. Um, I guess they're just gonna continue playing inside of here. All right, let's go to the police station next. Where's the where's the well, if if it's for the PTA, then the bakes there must be at school, right? Maybe we should check out the school as well. How much time do we have left? Fuck, it's so hard to tell when I'm like doing stuff and recording it, but I have to cut it out later. I have to put some timestamps or like write it down while recording. Again, the, the culprit not only returns to the scene of the crime, but also to the police to brag about it. <laughs> and hear about the latest happenings. Boy, right, Sheriff Dwayne? The way you keep pestering me, you'd think you were feeling guilty about something. No. 
Are you? No. Looks like we've got us a mini crime wave on our hands. Just got a report about another act of vandalism. Maybe related to the Tucker incident and the fire station robbery. Someone broke into Pastorelli's barbershop and took his pole. <laughs> Next morning, Pastorelli touched some live electrical wires that were left dangling and zap. No more barber. What was just an act of vandalism has just become a case of manslaughter. It happens to the I best of like us. It. Harvest used to be such a nice little town. What about the what about the lodge? Wait, 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 wait. When was the last time someone even was allowed to do the lodge initiation uh, procedure? Because everyone is regularly sending in the applications. Like Mr. Potsdam has been declined five times already or something, Miss Potsdam said. So he didn't even get to the point where he was able to do these tasks for them, or like am I the only one with tasks this not even difficult, but the sinister, I guess. There's a spider next to me. Wait. I'm sitting in the middle of the room, basically. <laughs> Doing that. It's like dangling down from the ceiling, I guess. Um. I sure hope it's not on my hand anymore. If it is, it's gonna get crushed in a second. Uh, anyway, what was it? Oh, I, I forgot my. Any like, time, Steve. Lost my train of thought. Uh. Next, I'm going to check out the school. There must be something I need to do until, like, the bake sale starts, right? Or maybe the bake sale is going to start as soon as I go to the school. Is there anything you want to check out still? Game Memorial School. Is there anything prepared already? It's going to be inside of you? Seeing you here again, one would think you'd never graduated. Thank you. Nostalgia is a waste of time. Maybe I'm just guy. missing a good quality time. You need to move forward. And if you ask me, the lodge lies firmly in that direction. Thank you. My breast just swells with pride whenever I think about the PTA's valuable service in this community. Hope to see you at the back sale tonight. Yeah. When I went to get my hair trimmed this morning, I imagined my surprise when I learned that the barbershop had been burglarized. Mm -hmm. And worse, that Mr. Pastorelli had been electrocuted. Harvest mourns the loss of an irreplaceable citizen. All of us will feel the loss only with the passage of time. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I've been again soon. Get too much about it. Um, is she gonna mention it? Like the, the, the teacher? Stephen, I'm that disson. Remember, Stephen? Tonight is the yeah. PTA bake sale. You'll be there. Yeah, yeah, won't yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yes, of course. That's good. I hope to see you there. Thank you. I really oh, do. Oh my good lord, I can't use that as a thumbnail. Well, what, what if you just file it under, like, ketchup? <laughs> a doll and ketchup. Lodge? This lodge. What do you know about it? The building itself, like Harvest, was constructed with a specific for? purpose in mind. That noble intent is known only to those within the Order. You're at about the right age to join them, Stephen. And you will do so if you care about your future. I think we've thought this before. Stop by. We don't need to anymore. Why was there like a dead child in the corner though? Hello YouTube, I know you're picking this up. There was no actual dead small person in the corner. It's just a game. The video game. Can we go? What do I leave? Here we go. Um, I don't really care about any of these people, to be honest. Did we talk to Edna? We have talked to Edna, right? Yeah, I just forgot. Um, maybe at the TV station they're gonna send something about Mr. Passarelli dying? Maybe I need to learn about that. Can't talk now. No, I know. Happy. Wrote Mr. Mr. McKnight or whatever his name is. Don't hurry back. All right, sport. I warned you. Oh shit! No. Oh no! When did I last save? Okay, stay. Well. Looks like it's, this is the end. No, I'm just gonna cut this out. Obviously. Oh god, it's been a while. Alright, I'm basically back to where I think I was with 
I, I didn't really talk to everyone I talked to before. I made sure to talk to Stephanie just in case it really does change anything. Like if there's like a hidden Stephanie score or something. It's not often. Uh, apparently the, the wasp lady. Still nothing new there. She doesn't even hear about the news. Uh, who's left? Next would be Mr. Johnson. Sorry, Steve. Oh, we Good. talked about cool. it. We talked about this actually. Yes, Why yes, it? yes. You have it worse past already. I fully agree. So the next thing would be the mortuary. Talking to Mr. Creepy Monaghan. Oh yeah, that's the glue still that we need. What did you want for the glue again? Young man, we really have nothing to say to each Yep. I do hope you'll attend the bake sale and spend heavily. It's for the needy, you it's know. It's for you! Sure. And all they have to do to benefit is die. A ditch makes a poor resting place. You'll need to learn that. If you ever want to leave Harvest. You make it sound like I have a choice. A choice that is rapidly vanishing. Join the lodge, Stephen. I'm working on it. you may. Sadly, my task is not to kill you. I'd say it's been a pleasure. The messy remains of some poor soul. It's a bit low him, actually. What you does he want for the have that, Stephen. I need it for my work. I'm not attempting and to may steal I say it. You're a rude young man for attempting to steal it. I was only going to borrow Please it. Please don't. Indeed. Trigger it. And have you anything I could hold as security? Security? Like what? Money? I'm afraid that's not good enough. I need that glue for my work. You must present something me with something significant. significant if you'd have me part with it. Alright, let's save and let's try out some items because... I don't know, I have a lot more items than I had before. Um, I'm gonna... Oh my god, I'm good now. <laughs> I'm gonna trade my PP. It's the most significant thing I own. It has been its deputy. <laughs> Alright, let's go from the back again. Do you want my camera? Okay. What do I use Why it on? I... On him, I guess. My manhole key. Why should I? Hope he's not gonna get angry. The flyer. Why should I? The flyer, dude. You want my shovel? I guess he must love a good shovel. Why should I? Oh. Screwdriver. Hopefully, I don't need Why them anymore. Uh, a dolly? Wait, 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 a pitchfork. Why? With the pitchfork. Oh, I better not show him the latches. <laughs> Accidentally. Um, the wrench? Why? The duct tape? Why? The ladder? Why? The axe? Why should? Can I just fucking kill him? Why should? I... Screwdriver? The cake cover. Why should? Does he want the tampons? Let's do the matches. Here, what's this? What? Oh yes. Oh. Mr. Potsdam left that here. Oh, last that's under the clue night, to what's this, I guess. When he drove me to the depths of Ennui with his late night conversation, he had a pocket full of the things and must have forgotten it. Why? Why did he? Why did he have a pocket full of matches? Do you think this possum is also trying to get into the lodge and like burying Karen was one of the tasks, maybe? Why should I? I don't really want to trade my. Oh, maybe he wants the Range Rider autograph! Why should I? Shit, I don't want to trade my healing items. I, I guess they are healing items because I can use them. Oh, maybe he wants Pastor Reddy's thingy, but then he knows that I stole it. Why should. Oh god. Ah, this could go wrong. I'm not gonna trade my get out of jail free card. Let's give him the let's give him the thing. Why should I Oh he doesn't even A meat meat? Why should the fuck does he want? Maybe he does want to get out of jail Why free card. Well I don't have the item yet that he wants. That would be That would be bad. Why should it would it would be another item that I missed that I need to pick up. Oh God, no! Why should? I... Do I need to use it on the glue? Oh man! Damn it! Surely not. Well, that didn't work. 
I never go quickly. Well, that didn't work. Oh, I, I didn't. I, am I going to well, cut this out? Work. I don't need to include all of this. Nah. Oh, man. You're going to have to suffer with me. Well, that didn't work. What would a man oh, like him man. want? I, I would really think that he would he would maybe like the autograph. What's the point of the autograph otherwise? Wait, it didn't. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. Damn it. What can I give him? I want my inventory, thank you very much. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Oh, I Damn assume it. I'm going to need well, the matchbooks to, like, um, start a fire. Damn it. What are we going to do with the tampons? <laughs> are there, like, many red herrings in this? Oh, man. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. The sun's given this place is really oh, man. disgusting. What am I going to do with the bubble pool? Okay. Yeah, maybe I can shove it up my ass. Well, that didn't All right, work. I tried just about every item now. Uh, except for the for the latches. But I'm, like the last time I did the whole ledger thing with him, he did get me arrested, so... He wants an item of equal value. What could that be? What is of equal value to glue? Let's say if I give him the barber pole, he's going to need to give me more than just glue. Like he, he's going to have to include at least a jar of jism alongside it. Alright, that's... Anything... Oh god, Steve. Anything new here? Ah, this is like... This feels very sinister. A hauntingly beautiful stained glass window in which a man holds a scythe in one hand and fear of power in the other. A young man lies motionless in a cask of red stains are visible on his shirt and boots. Oh! Oh my god, who the fuck is that? Steve, why are you touching him? Why is he doing that? Ooh. Was that a hint towards a monster? What was the point of this? He's just gonna do it again? Hey, what the fuck? I, I mean, I guess now I have something for the thumbnail for this episode, but... What's the point of that? I didn't get an item out of it. Steve found a corpse. He's looking at... He's looking at the wound. The wound, like... Uh, like scratches. That's what it looks like. We do this information. <laughs> what? Oh, you know, I'm gonna fucking save because this feels like I'm gonna fumble around some more. And I don't, I don't really want that on episode. Uh, so, um, see you next week in Harvest. Bye bye.